I think my friends would say that I dance a little bit like a baby elephant. cannot wait to, I suppose, put on things that I would never dream of wearing. Bright, bold, sparkly colours, sexy hair and makeup. I don't normally do that, so it'll be fun. I think I'm actually really interested to learn the Argentinian tango. You say a lot on the dance floor when you dance it. I think it'd be challenging, but it's one that I'm most looking forward to. Probably Whitney Houston, I Want to Dance with Somebody. It's just an all-round feel-good song. It needs to be a little bit spontaneous, it needs to be bubbly, but also very resilient, because I think I might put him through his paces. It brings a group of people together that have the different varieties of dance skills and levels, and we get to dance in front of the whole country and hopefully provide some entertainment. Because I wanted to set myself another challenge and see if I could push my levels of uncomfortableness <laughs> to a new extreme and I suppose learn a new skill. The fact that it's live is, is the part that's worrying, there's no retakes, there's no round two. That's something I'm very used to within sport, but dancing in glitzy clothes in front of so many millions of people watching, that's scary. I think my friends would say that I dance a little bit like a baby elephant, maybe a little bit frumpy and heavy. So hopefully I can turn that into maybe more of a swan-like figure. The likes of Lewis Smith. I find the sporting stars the most interesting to watch because obviously it's my background and I see how they go from being really rigid and not moving to being all sexy on the dance floor. It would be Bruno. I just think that he has character and after watching so many of the shows, he's light-hearted but he's serious and he likes a joke. Um, yeah, I think, I think I'd pick his brains. <laughs>